Hi, and welcome to my very first YouTube video and my very first Plan With Me video. I am here today to show you the sticker subscription from the Plum Paper, sorry, it's a tongue twister, the Plum Paper Planner. Um, this is their sticker subscription you get once a month for $10 um, with no um, shipping costs, so that's pretty awesome. So. This is my first time setting up a monthly view in the Plum Paper Planner. I actually did my very first spread in it um, a couple of days ago. So I'm excited to check out this sticker subscription. And if you haven't checked it out before, it, this will be a great chance for you to see it. And I'm gonna go ahead and set up the August month with this new sticker subscription. So let's get started. Let's see, so first thing it comes in this cute little sleeve that says take a walk on the wild side. I'm not usually a huge fan of like tropical stuff, but I do like the colors of the green and pink. And it seems like a little cheetah inspired stuff, so that's cute. Oops, let me get to August. And I'm going to start with the month first, and then I'll start setting up the monthly highlights. So, let's first take a look at the sticker kit itself and see what we got. Um, so, this is the 7x9 August Collection sticker. It says six sticker sheets. So, first it has this cute one that it looks like goes with the monthly tab. And my first impressions are, wow, these are kind of some contrasting colors that I'm not sure I would pick to go together if I chose. And I kind of wish they all matched as in they matched, they were the same color. I really love this pie, I don't know if you can see it, this pie chart here where it has the 31 days for you to track a goal, that's awesome. I think I'm gonna use that for my workouts. And then it has these two blank ones for other things, which I'll have to figure out what I wanna do there. And then right now, what it has here is um, birthdays, events, and things to remember, and then some blank ones here. But if you didn't want to put those, you could cover them up with this and put something different. So that's cool. And then, let's see what else we have next. Let me open this back up. And you. Um, next thing, it looks like we have some of these full blocks. I can't talk today. It looks like we have some of these full boxes. Um, open Mind, Big Dreams, Wild Heart. That's cool. I really love the pink with the little like cheetah spots on it. If you can see that. That's cool. Let's see what's next. This page I just love. I love how it has all the icons and everything on it to add to your monthly or your weekly spread. Horrible. And then we have some washi and the cheetah. That's cute. So maybe since I don't like these all together, I can break them up and use the yellow cheetah for one week and the green for something else. So I'm not mixing all these colors in my week. Um, there's also the Be Fierce washi and this Tropical Leaves washi. Normally for August, because school starts, I usually do a school spread, and actually this is my school spread in my Erin Condren. Um, see, it kind of has a school theme that I made on the silhouette, so I normally would do that, but I was excited to check out this subscription and give it a try. And then we have what looks like some little um, things to do, a checklist in circles, stars, and squares, and some little tiny squares.
squares that you could use for, I'm not sure what, color coding. And pay, note, appointment, to do, remember, important to do. Love this. Love these weather stickers right here. These are adorable. I would buy a whole pack of just these kind of stickers because those are adorable. And then I also would buy just a whole pack of these fork and knife and these workout ones. I could use those up easily. So those are adorable. The next one is just some different boxes to some half circles. And this says shopping this week, priority, reminder, don't forget my tasks. Um, that's for an email, I guess, and bills. And this is adorable, this little thing for meals probably use this on the weekly, although I wish they gave me seven of these so I could use it for a whole spread. That would have been awesome. Um, these are kind of cool. I haven't seen any quite like this. That's neat. And then it says, you, you've you got the power. Don't forget and to do. So those are awesome functional stickers. And this one looks like it's actually for this monthly view of August. It has the strips for the top and then some paydays, some different boxes that hopefully fit right in this monthly area and some numbers to cover up these numbers here and also the days of the week to cover here. And looks like some exclamation marks to help you not forget certain dates that are important. So let's get started with setting this up and see how it goes. Let me make sure I'm in view first. Yes, okay. So, the good thing is that this kit actually matches the green for the month, that's good. In case I didn't want to cover part of it up, that comes in handy. And so far these fit perfectly. Oh, I don't think I put that one on straight. Let me reposition that. And perfect. That looks cute. I really do like that. That I like that it's thin and it's not too busy. It has a pattern, but it's not too busy. It's just a little bit at the top. And let's see. Next, we'll do the this. What's great about this is if you like to start on a Monday start, you can use this to change this whole calendar up. But I'm just going to keep it how it is. So I'm going to go Sunday to just Saturday. I'm sorry. Yeah, Sunday to Saturday. Hmm. Let me see. Is that how I want it to go? Okay. Hmm. I'm having a hard time setting these stickers down straight. Let's see. Nope. They're an interesting shape. They're kind of like the shape of a canoe, but that's kind of new and different and kind of fun. So I don't mind it at all. I think I need to put this lower. Mm. Nope. And if you notice, I burned myself here on the, uh, with something in the oven. So look away from that. Let's see, that looks better. Awesome. Love how it all coordinates together and that there's not too much pink to go with the green. Well, 
Hello, I can't put a sticker on straight. <laughs> How many times do I need to put this down before I get it right? Let's see. Ah. These are kind of tricky. I do think I would like it better if it fit across the whole square so it wouldn't be so difficult to get straight, but like I said, it's something different I haven't ever seen before, so that's kind of cool. As far as date covers. Um, trying to just barely cover the, the day. But not have it too high up. That is looking really cute. I actually like that more than I thought I would. That is pretty adorable. Okay. So now I'm going to look back to my my Erin Condren layout to see what I have to help remind me. Get this out of the way. So I have payday. Hmm. I really wish it would. Um, maybe I'll put it in yellow. Hmm. Or pink. I'll try yellow first. But that'll go here. And let's see. It's too big to fit up here. This part might be a little boring. I'll just speed through this one, hopefully, but here's the date covers. All right, after a year, <laughs> I have finally dated it and I love it. I think it looks so nice how the numbers pop. I think that's pretty darn cute. Now, I'm not so sure I want to see these dates here, so I'm trying to think what would I want to cover that with. And that sort of fits there. You know what, now that I'm looking at this yellow, I'm not sure I'm loving it. I'm almost thinking maybe I do want the pink. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let me try the pink. This is my birthday, but I also need to leave space for professional development. Um, so let me just put my birthday over here. And where did the birthday balloons go that I had picked out? I guess they fell on the floor. All right, I think I'm gonna do these pink they match yeah to go with that and put my all right I just noticed this Saturday is a little bit too low compared to the others I'm gonna have to fix those dates later because they're a mess all right hmm what else shall I put? Let me, it helps if I look at my other one. Oh, my grandmother's birthday is on the 31st, so I want to add that in. Let's see. Birthday. Perfect. And let's go ahead and go with another pink one. Here, and put my grandmother down. And she's gonna be 96, pretty awesome. a 
actually looks pretty cute. Let's try that out. Place on your put. Professional development there. And also professional development on the sixth. So yes, I always go back to work right around my birthday, but that's okay. And I just always hope that nobody remembers it's my birthday and I can just go through the day like it's any normal day. That's what I try to do anyway. I think there's, yes, professional development on the 7th as well. We're having a lot of professional development this year. Okay, and then let's see, we have two staff work days. And let's see, I guess we could put it on using this cute one here with the banana leaves. That's pretty adorable. And that is going to be on this day. Hmm, doesn't quite fit the box. Maybe I put it too far over. You know, when people said the, the um, paper was like buttery smooth, I thought it was like, oh no, is there like this film over it that's going to make it feel weird, kind of like the tabs? But no, it just feels nice and smooth. And we'll go ahead and put a staff work day. Hmm, do I want to do that? Because I also want to put back to school. But I guess I'll do that there. I still have old Happy Planner um, planners. That's what I first started using when I first started getting into these type of planners where you sticker. Is there any first day of schools? Mm. There's last day, but This is a Happy Planner teacher, one I got from Target. I guess not. I'm not finding a first day of school here. And first day of school. This looks really huge though. Do these colors go? Not, not really, and it looks really huge. Let's see if I cut off this. Would it make it any better? I don't know. I'll leave that there for now and think about and hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please come back and join me again. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a separate video for the monthly highlights. Um, so please, if you did enjoy this, subscribe and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon. Thank you, bye-bye.